low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I never complain Just going obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Morning everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Cars and welcome to a beautiful November Sunday morning. It's a little bit chilly but it's not too bad and uh, today we're going on a good old fashioned coffee run in my favourite car, the Porsche GT4 and we're heading over to the Motorist Cafe actually, um, which is over over near Leeds. I've never actually been but I've heard some really good things and they tend to put lots of meats on and you know, they've got what looks like a nice cafe and a nice shop and stuff like that. So we're going to go check it out. We're going to bring you guys along and see um, see what we think. And most importantly, get a nice good cup of coffee. Um, we've got Mike with us today. Um, we're just doing a few photos beforehand. So he's, he's just setting up his lenses and his drone and all that sort of stuff. So I'll let him work his magic for a little bit. And then we're going to head to the motorist. Like I say, check it out. Hopefully see some nice cars. And uh, yeah, should be good. Although there is forecast of rain, but... It'll still be a good day regardless hopefully it's still uh, still a good turnout uh, in a few nice cars there as well so um stay tuned we'll head over to the motorist in a little bit and uh, let's hope for some good cars <laughs> this time of year when the all the trees I know the leaves are coming off but there's just a couple of weeks where the leaves are nice and orange and um, the, before they've actually fallen off the trees uh, makes some real nice photos and I'm um, excited to see what, uh, what obviously comes out of today's photos and uh, no doubt they'll be amazing because Mike is he's, uh, he's an absolute genius with that uh, camera I mean I'm, I like the cameras and obviously videoing and stuff like that but he's uh, he's next level compared to me so fair play to him um, just on a nice little country lane here actually uh, just coming across um, towards uh, off the motorway towards the motorist and yeah some nice real nice scenic uh, roads some nice lovely trees so looks like a good spot for us to uh, to get some pictures so yeah, in the GT4, it's actually coming up due a service in uh, in December, so we've got that to look forward to. Uh, probably going to just take it to Porsche Sheffield, I think. Um, obviously got it from Porsche Silverstone. Uh, them guys have written to me to say it's due a service, but it's just it's a couple of hour trip down there, so I don't know. I'll probably take it to Sheffield, probably easier. Um, and then to be honest, it, it, hopefully if we get a few more days like this, we can still do a few videos, but probably going to be more driving the uh, the Jeep through the winter um, as opposed to driving this, which is no bad thing. It can get tucked up in the garage and um, stay stay nice and pristine, which is what we like. Um, probably going to chuck a ceramic coating on it over the winter, uh, you know, because I've still not done that since I got it. Uh, needs a couple, a couple of stage polish and a ceramic coating just to make sure that paintwork is protected. I would like to, I'm still on the hunt for some new wheels for it. I still want some uh, some lightweight motorsport BBS E88s, but I'm trying to find a set without ordering some brand new from Germany or the US, which, which are on like an 18 month waiting list. I don't want to wait that long. So um, I'm, I'm still waiting for the right set to come on. As soon as I do, I'll, I'll snap them up. And 
then once, once we've got that, then I'll, uh, I'll sort the suspension out. Obviously, it needs to be lowered a little bit because we'll actually be dropping down from 20s to 19s. Uh, they do them in 20s, but that's not. I don't like that look. I like the 19 inch, a little bit smaller motorsport look. If any of you follow my Instagram, you'll see I'm, I share them all the time. Um, there's one, there's a red GT4 with them wheels on, and it looks absolutely incredible. Still need a wing riser as well. Again, that'll probably come similar time to the wheels because I think they sort of go hand in hand if you're going for that sort of motorsport look and then the raise of the wing looks nice. So, uh, so yeah, a few little plans for it over the winter. Still love the seat. Still toying with the idea of getting some seat inserts for them. Um, obviously, they do them in all sorts of colours. You can get hounds too for stuff like that. So uh, I did see a GT4 at the Seen Through Glass podcast which had a hounds tooth insert looks really good I, I like that but then again the Alcantara centers I think are nice and obviously with the interior this having sort of a yellow theme to it um, maybe like a yellow I don't know maybe hounds too for the yellow stripe down the side or something um, there's loads anyhow if I wanted to see it so it's no problem it, uh, it wouldn't take long to do so uh, I'm still toying with that idea as well but still just if anyone's looking at 981 Caymans or even 997, 911s, um, these seats are a must. They're an absolute must because they, they just they just completely changed the car for me. I, I don't see the point in having a GT4 with comfort seats and the fixed buckets. Well, why not have these? They're heated, they feel just as good and they're, you know, foldable. So not that you need to put anything behind them, but these are a must, absolute must. So. guys the motorist has absolutely blown me away um, if you're a car enthusiast like me or even bike enthusiast or f1 anything anything with an engine and you've not been to the motorist then you need to go you absolutely need to go um, the shop alone is worth the visit I mean they've got everything you can imagine they've got their own merchandise really nice quality printed hoodies with the motorist on and then they've got so stuff like RWB merchandise the printed shirts they've got f1 They've got like classic stuff, there's so many things. Them retro jackets, I got a video of them, I'll pop it up now. They are so nice. Um, and yeah, I mean everything, they've got tea, coffee, alcohol, snacks, Tony's chocolate, the whole collection, everything. Honestly, anything to do with cars, Lego, Hot Wheels, model cars, they've got the lot. It's, it's such a good shop and if you've got a loved one, that you're looking for a gift and they're into anything with an engine or anything car related at all i guarantee you will find them something there so worth the trip um, just for the shop alone the cafe is lovely although it was really busy um, i didn't get the branded coffee but we had a lovely coffee um, and then we had like a breakfast sandwich they do bacon and sausage sandwiches they also do fresh sausage rolls they had vegan stuff they had veggie stuff so again catering for absolutely everyone um, and but then if you want to have a like a sit-down meal they also have a restaurant that you can book into um, we obviously didn't get the chance to do that they've got meeting rooms they do weddings they do absolutely everything in there um, and then over the other side they've got a whole dedicated workshop and garage anything from an MOT all the way to a full nut and bolt restoration um, they, you know, they do paintwork bodywork repairs, MOTs, tyres everything so real cool workshop it'd be cool to take your car there get it MOT'd and have a look in the the garage and the in the shop and the cafe and stuff while it's been done so quite you know real cool car hub in general um, and the amount of events they have on there is is ridiculous i mean they've literally through the summer they've got an event every day you know wings and wheels on a wednesday they do a curry night on a friday night on saturdays they have sort of different car clubs 
um, and then on a Sunday they do the cars and coffee which we went to and it was a shame about the weather because there were some real nice cars coming in SF90 was there there was a McLaren 765 I think um, but with the rain they didn't stay very long obviously we were trying to get some content so we stuck about for a little bit um, but I mean looking on their social media and their website they get some serious turnouts to the cars and coffee so I'll definitely be going back um, and I, I want to try that restaurant I want to book in and, and see what that's like because it looked really nice and the meeting rooms all sort of car themed real nice leather you know brown leather chairs so generally if you're into cars of any sort it, it's an absolute must I can't believe I've not been before and people have told me how good it is and I've just never really ventured over that way but um, I'll certainly be going back very soon, probably next week to be honest, because I want to have another look at all the merchandise without the camera in my hand and uh, get a few presents for some loved ones because there, there's everything there. Now, honestly, it's an absolute must. Also guys, whilst I'm driving along, don't forget that if you do need any car care products, um, I've been using the new Dat Wax range um, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, they just sent me some products. Um, and, and they are really really good so if you're in the market for some new detailing products check them out www.datwaxuk.com uh, but they have given me a 10% off code so um, if, you, if you get whatever you fancy and then go to the basket put in the code coffee cars 10 all capitals um, and you'll get 10% off I'll put a link in the description and put the, the code up on the screen um, but yeah I can highly recommend the, the soap is really good the pH neutral soap um, and I, I quite like the, um, I've been using the, it's quick detailer, but they call it quick ceramic spray or something like that. Um, that's really good, beads water nicely, keeps your car a little bit cleaner for longer and gives it a nice shine. So, um, tyre dressing is really good. If you like a shiny tyre dressing, it's great. Um, if you like a matte one, then probably not for you. I quite like the shiny look, uh, makes it look nice and clean. Um, snow foam is really good as well, smells really nice. Um, and it's, it's lovely thick snow foam. So to be honest, they're all good. They're all good. Um, I haven't had a chance to try out any of the actual waxes yet. I imagine they're really good. Uh, I know they've got loads of different flavors and they all look a bit different when you look down into the tub. And um, obviously that's that's where they originated from with uh, doing their own waxes. So, uh, but the liquid products can highly recommend and uh, they've got some, some stickers and some starting to do some like merchandise and little bits and pieces like that. So go check them out. I'll leave a link below and, uh, and use my code if you do get anything. So there you have it guys. Um, so that's pretty much going to conclude the motorist um, coffee run. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I went because like I say, it's a place I've wanted to go for a long, long time. Uh, nice to get out for a good trip in the GT4. She's a bit dirty, so uh, we're going to be washing her over the weekend, no doubt. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, and let me know if you've got any comments, um, anything, you know, if you like the video, if, if you change anything about the car, leave me a comment because I love to reply to you guys and I try to give back to everyone. Um, and I'm so appreciative of all the support, you know, every view literally means the world to me. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.